I think over and over again, there's this constant attempt to undermine his credibility and the movement that he represents. And it's frustrating for not just him, but I think so many of us that are trying to work to get this message out. And, and, it, it's, and, and so I mentioned this to Jonathan, but part of this is a two-way street. Like, we, we, want to, we want to have a healthy dialogue, not just with you, but with the American people. Because he's fighting for jobs, he's fighting to make this country safer. But when you're constantly getting told that can't be true, we doubt that you can do this. This won't happen. And that's the narrative when you turn on television every single day. It's a little frustrating. It's a little demoralizing to turn on the TV day after day and hear, can't do this. This guy's not going to get confirmed. No way they're going to go through. But isn't that just part of the, the conversation that happens in Washington? No, it's and, not. And the I, I that think comes with being president of the United States and, no, and working at the White no, House? No, I, I, look, I've been doing this a long time. You've been doing this, too. I've never seen it like this, Jim. I, I've never, and again, I'm not... I, I, I'm not looking to, to go back and forth, but you're asking for an explanation. And I think that it's important to understand that whether it's, it's the president himself, the vice president, the senior team, the volunteers, or the people who are out there just, you know, in America that voted for him or walked the streets or put up a sign, that to constantly be told no, 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 and to watch him go yes, yes, yes every time, and to come up to the next hurdle and see someone put a block up, gets a little frustrating. 